Arirang Special. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, has spread to countries around the world, including Korea, Germany, and even Thailand. Public fear has reached the highest level. The virus killed about 400 people when it was first detected three years ago in the Middle East. It is known to have a two-week latency period and is accompanied by fever, cough, and shortness of breath. Patients infected by the MERS virus can transfer the disease by coughing or sneezing within two meters of others. The outbreak of the virus was first reported on May 20th, when a male in his 60s was diagnosed after returning from a trip to Bahrain. The situation quickly escalated with rising patient numbers and death toll. The WHO sent a team of medical experts to assess the current MERS outbreak and devise additional measures to contain the virus. The MERS outbreak in ROK can be stopped, although it may take a little longer than everyone would like to see. Korea has actually seen a decrease in the number of patients and quarantined people since the middle of June. And after June 18th, the number of people being discharged exceeded the death toll, showing that the MERS outbreak in Korea is calming down. The MERS outbreak in Korea shocked the public and triggered a crisis within the disease management system. Today, we discuss its implications for Korea's healthcare system, as well as measures to be better prepared in the future. The Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, is being increasingly talked about all around the world these days. And particularly in Korea, the case of confirmed infection has been rising for the past few weeks. So today in Arirang Special, we will discuss what's happening in Korea and what's being done here in order to stop the epidemic as quickly as possible. For that, we are joined by expert panelists here, lawmaker Park in -suk, a medical doctor, a member of ruling Senuri Party, and also a member of National Assembly's Special Committee on MERS. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. You. And also we have Dr. Kim Sung-woo, virologist and also a diagnostic test expert, a bioscience entrepreneur. Dr. Kim has been a member of renowned organizations all around the world, including Harvard Medical School, as well as National Institute of Health of the United States. Welcome to the program. Okay, thank you. Uh, doctors, we have a lot of ground to cover today, well, starting with what MERS is and what is happening in Korea and what needs to be done further in the future here. So let's first start with the question of what MERS is. Maybe we have so many viewers around the world, so some of the viewers may not even know what kind of epidemic we are talking about. Dr. Kim, if we may, can we start with the overall definition or idea of what MERS is, what, what we are talking about here in this program? Uh, MERS is the, uh, the newly emerged uh, virus that is originated from a coronavirus. So the first founding was the, uh, from Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. in the uh, Middle East uh, the country. Uh, there in 2012, that became uh, so uh, contagious. Mm -hmm. So they infected more than 1,000 people and around 500 people were dead. So that became uh, the notorious uh, mm -hmm. for the people. So in terms of symptoms, maybe I may, I may ask uh, Lawmaker Park about it because you're a medical doctor as well and an expert in this area. This is a sort of like a flu-like symptom, if you will. Uh, is, is that fair description? It comes with high fever and cough and stuff, but generally this is sort of like flu. Is it severe flu? Yeah, as the name indicates, mm -hmm. fever is the main, main symptoms. Mm -hmm. So almost everybody has a fever, very high fever, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the coughing, respiratory symptoms mm -hmm. is another stigma of mm -hmm. this disease. The pneumonia, so coughing and and expectoration of the sputum. And some cases has uh, gastrointestinal symptoms such mm -hmm. as diarrhea, abdominal pain. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Middle East cases uh, uh, has been reported of kidney damage, but it has not okay. been well found in Korean cases, which mm -hmm. is the difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kim, tell us more about how new this epidemic has been so far. As you mentioned, like uh, about a year or two ago, it mm -hmm. first broke out in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. but 
Uh, what, how new is this? How, do we, how much do we know about the epidemic so far? Right, that is a pretty recent one. The, the first finding was uh, 2012 mm -hmm. in Saudi Arabia. Then uh, in Korea, uh, they tried to um, uh, make uh, some protocol for the protection mm -hmm. uh, from the virus in Korea. Uh, so they made uh, some protocol in 2012, then uh, in 2013, mm -hmm. uh, they made uh, uh, some uh, diagnostic, made a molecular diagnostic kit uh, to detect from the animal uh, the, uh, the coronavirus. Uh, but um, that detection was uh, already uh, not proved yet because mm -hmm. the uh, research was not uh, perfectly done yet. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, According to the symptoms, we feel the high fever is the one indicator. Right. But actually, for the precise um, the detection, we need uh, uh, the uh, genetic uh, detection is more accurate. Mm -hmm. So uh, the people, actually, the, some companies were uh, trying to make a, a detection kit, mm -hmm. molecular detection kit. Right. And they were uh, preparing for the uh, FDA approval. To be, sides, the, to be precise about this, this is uh, like a device that can let you look at the molecules or is it a virus that you can see through? Yeah, virus How? itself. Okay. So virus has their, uh, the coronavirus has their own sequence. Mm -hmm. So virus has the, uh, the, the uh, DNA sequence. Mm -hmm. Uh, we should, uh, we can recognize the sequence exactly mm -hmm. by amplifying a spatial uh, instrument. So that, that's the best way to confirm yeah, this case. Yeah, that is the most best way. Right, Con uh, cough yeah. and high temperature themselves cannot be 100%. Right, the okay. uh, first screening is the using the UV light mm -hmm. and see whether the people has high fever or not, mm -hmm. high temperature or not. Then the devices that they use at the airport perhaps, right? The cameras and right, stuff like right, that, right? Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. That is uh, uh, thermal uh, the, uh, camera. Right. Then if somebody has the high fever, then mm -hmm. they should be uh, the, uh, diagnosed mm -hmm. by some special tools. That mm -hmm. is called a molecular diagnostic kit. Right. But this is not adopted in airport mm -hmm. yet mm -hmm. uh, because those systems are so huge, heavy, and need some expert. Right, so indeed the detection and confirmation itself, they're very hard uh, indeed, uh, because this is a relatively speaking new disease, a new epidemic. Lawmaker yeah. uh, Park in Suk, I wanna ask you this, uh, you know, you've been on this uh, related subject for a long time, and when we talk about this kind of like a respiratory, respiratory epidemics, uh, we often think about different cases like H1N1, SARS, and all these different cases. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, like our general audience may wonder, so, uh, you know, in order to understand what MERS is, how is this different from, for example, SARS? How would you describe the difference? Oh, I have a table to, oh, okay. to show you, mm. explain to you. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a similar virus, but genetically coronavirus. It's different. Coronavirus, mm -hmm. very small RNA virus. Okay. The case of SARS, we, it was first reported 2003, mm -hmm. it was more than 8,000 cases, but okay. in MERS, mm -hmm. F, since 2012, more than 1,500 mm -hmm. cases has been reported. Mm -hmm. the, the vector is different. Mm. Uh, they're both from the bat. I see. The virus both. is uh, living in bat. Okay. And, but it, it goes through the civet. civet. Mm -hmm. It's like a cat. Right. Uh, and go to the people from mm -hmm. there. But and, MERS is but different. But MERS is camel. It's not two humped camel, one humped camel. I see. So and that's why we were hearing, a lot, of, hearing yeah. a lot about camel at the beginning right. of MERS case yeah, here in yeah. Korea, right? Mm -hmm. but yeah. Camel milk and camel meat, yeah. which we don't consume mm -hmm. here. Right. But that's uh, where it's coming from. But it's mysterious. Okay. It is mystery that how the virus in camel goes mm. into the human being, mm. because not everybody consumes raw uh, camel milk right. or raw <laughs> meat. Now, even South in Saudi mm -hmm. Arabia, not, right. not all people infected mm -hmm. ate those things. So right. it's, it's mystery that how those virus transmit it from mm -hmm. these animals to the people. Okay. Uh, and the mortality is another mm. difference. It's, right. it's low, or than 10%, while in Saudi Arabian cases, as high as 40%. Right. But in Korea, it's not over yet completely. We're right. still it's going changing. through this epidemic, so, mm. but it so far has been 15%. Okay. But let's talk to, more right. about mortality uh, right after this. So yeah. let's move okay. on to other and differences. And uh, mm -hmm. SARS, uh, mm -hmm. it affects the healthy people, while this MERS, is most people, most patients has underlying disease or I old see. age, but 
but mm -hmm. there is some exceptions. Some right. young young men mm -hmm. got infected. There have been a they, few oh, exceptions about exceptions right. about health pe healthy people being affected. Here. Right. Yeah. Okay. But most of them had some sick people. Mm -hmm. This is the most important difference. Mm -hmm. SARS is community infection. Mm -hmm. You can you can get infected from in the community. So if you go to shopping malls, schools, and uh, different airports gatherings where people are there, where, airports, right, yeah, okay, you can get probably. affected as SARS. That okay. is the, the most important difference is this. Mm. The, almost 100% mm -hmm. of the MERS cases so far is 176 uh, today. Mm -hmm. uh, one or two exceptions, mm -hmm. we don't know yet how we, they got we haven't transmitted. Confirmed yet, right. Not confirmed, one or right. two, mm -hmm. but except that most of the people mm -hmm. had infection linked with the hospital. Mm -hmm. So I that's see. something that reassuring, I okay. guess. Mm -hmm. Interesting differences here, but uh, uh, you mentioned the fa fatality here. Of course, any disease, death is the biggest fear mm -hmm. for anyone mm -hmm. who's thinking about it and, and f uh, fearful of it. Uh, yeah. What can we say about the fatality, as uh, Lawmaker Park has just mentioned? Uh, fatality, at the beginning, we were being told it's about 40%. Mm -hmm. And then uh, as soon as we had the starting of the outbreak here, we saw we were checking the numbers in Korea. It was very low. Now it mm -hmm. looks like it's a little bit rising and stuff. Mm -hmm. What do we know about the fatality of MERS so far, Dr. Kim? Oh. Yeah, initially the, uh, the people was um, the, um, made uh, some question whether it has different mutation mm -hmm. of this uh, virus, uh, virus. Right. But the, after the full sequence, sequencing, it was, the mutation was not found. Mm -hmm. So uh, the next question was the, the local or uh, different uh, culture or the environment. Mm -hmm. So in the Saudi Arabia, uh, they showed about 40 percent of the immortality, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they usually live in the dry area, right. and also they live separately. So uh, the quality the, of healthcare in, cannot be same as here. Also, yes. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Also, that is another uh, factor. But in Korea, we uh -huh. have a very special, uh, the unique uh, cultures right. in the hospital. Right. Uh, we usually eat together, and uh -huh. we. Uh, take care of the, our patients very close, uh, with very close contact. Then that culture actually could help uh, the fatality rate to rise. No, 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 no. there is no? some confusion. Uh -huh. uh, we're talking about the infectivity and the mortality. Right, right. Infectivity is, is basically influenced by the, our culture, right, right. why the fatality is different. Mm. Story. People dying. Yeah, right, people right. die from this. Mm. The difference right. is uh, mm. not only maybe the, the level of uh, health care. Right. Well, Saudi Arabia, I don't know much, but, uh, mm -hmm. but we have a good high quality health care. We had but, our confidence yeah, in our right, system. But right. the problem is mm -hmm. not now, the, not the problem, but the, mm. the big factor is right. now we're finding many asymptomatic or mild cases. I see. While Saudi Arabia is mostly mm -hmm. sick people. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the, because mm -hmm. of we're finding mild cases, some mm -hmm. people just go through this disease without even knowing it, right. why they have a tested because they are contact. So mm -hmm. since we have uh, many mm -hmm. input from this asymptomatic mild cases that right. decrease mortality. Okay, here we are connecting with an expert on coronavirus. Uh, he's a professor, Benjamin Newman. He belongs to the School of Biological Science of University of Reading. Dr. Newman, thank you very much for joining us. Of course. Okay, first question we have is about the fatality, fatality, people death here. Uh, there has been lots of uh, fear in Korea because this is a new, uh, new epidemics here and uh, a lot of people have been very much concerned. What can you say about this uh, fear and concern about fatality of this particular epidemic? It is a valid concern, and it's a shame that MERS is happening so widely now, particularly in Korea. I guess the good news here is that the first DNA sequences have come in to tell us about the MERS virus that's there, and it looks almost identical to the MERS virus that's in Saudi Arabia right now. This is what we thought before, but it's something that wasn't confirmed until now. So the virus hasn't really mutated. It isn't really doing anything different. It looks like just a combination of bad luck and a little bit of poor planning at the beginning of the outbreak that got us to this situation. Then big question here would be, what should Korea do? What are the things that we need, should, uh, we need to keep in mind here? I think the Korean health officials are doing a very good job now. So one guideline for whether or not an outbreak is being dealt with properly is to look at how many contacts, how many people who have had contact with a known MERS patient are being monitored. 
you normally want that number to be around 20. And in Korea right now, the number is closer to 40. They're doing a really good job of trying to track these down. And right now, the virus doesn't seem to be spreading outside of the people that they know are already at risk. And that's good news for everyone else. That means that people who don't actually know a MERS uh, patient are probably not at any risk at all. And it means that this should be able to be caught and contained relatively quickly. Thank you, Professor Newman. That was Professor Benjamin Newman uh, of the School of Biological Science of the University of Reading. You know, talking about those uh, fear factor with uh, having to do with the fatality has been a big issue with regard to this epidemic. Uh, overall, lawmaker Bagin Sukula, let me ask you this: uh, the overall the fear in the general public. What can we say? We, for instance, right, have seen the cases where people were refusing to cooperate. Uh, you know, uh, out of fear of uh, being segregated, being separated from their families for. Uh, a few weeks and so on. Uh, and some people have been very afraid about the, the death possibilities and all that. What do we observe overall in this case uh, uh, in terms of public fear? Uh, as a medical doctor, what can we say? In science or as a matter of fact, everything in life, transparency is the basic basis for mm -hmm. trust. Mm -hmm. In this regard, the government had uh, not done very well from the very beginning, they have to be uh, let everybody knows exactly where they get infection mm -hmm. and what they should do to prevent their own infections. But it was not effectively done. Mm -hmm. So I think if you know, since we didn't know, mm -hmm. now it is easy to go back and to see what it is. But the, from the very beginning, mm -hmm. you have to be very honest. And the government and the authority should tell should have told to the public. Since our viewers are watching from overseas, we have to address this question about the fears of the foreigners here, mm -hmm. you know, who are visiting here and who are coming here. And we really need to deal with uh, the perhaps unnecessary fear, mm -hmm. but with the proper facts, right? right? Dr. Yeah, Kim, right. what would you say to our foreign uh, audience or, or viewers mm -hmm. on one hand and also uh, to the Korean authority in terms mm -hmm. of how we deal with the foreign visitors and so on? What are some mm -hmm. of the key points to keep in mind? Uh, the yeah, the opening, the inf sharing the information, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and very uh, fast transparency. Yeah, transparency mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the opening the, uh, the the transparency and also fast mm -hmm. uh, the reporting. Right, right. Uh, the to the public. So in that way, the foreigners, our visitors, uh, may get the information from the newspaper mm -hmm. or from the environment quickly. Mm -hmm. So in that way, they can be. Uh, you know, they safe. Uh, otherwise, they will be so, you know, fear right, <laughs> right. about this situation. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, Lomeka you're also, uh, you know, a uh, medical doctor as well here. Uh, as a ruling party member, uh, what are some of the things that you want to say to the Korean government in terms of the Korean government dealing with the foreign visitors here? Uh, have yeah. the, has the Korean government mm -hmm. doing enough they, for what are some of the points to keep in mind? They were a little late, but now they're doing right things. Mm -hmm. So that's what yeah. I need to tell you, tell the the people, listeners, mm -hmm. uh, viewers, mm -hmm. is that the Korean now Korean government mm -hmm. is going to pay mm -hmm. whoever got infected in Korea with the MERS. They okay. will pay all the medical expense, mm -hmm. travel expense, mm -hmm. and pay mm -hmm. the insurance, and they may even pay for the living expense. I see. Uh, mm -hmm. Due to the cost uh, by so this MERS. So at least on the financial yeah, side, the, they are covered. And, and the the, of course, the hospital. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. But as we said, mm -hmm. for the public information, we mm -hmm. have to share. So prevention to, is always yeah, more important. Yeah, right. right. We have to tell them you uh, uh, are not getting infected outside mm -hmm. of the hospital. Right. Don't worry about too much. Mm -hmm. But there was some problem at the very beginning. They were not informed because not enough English right, uh, broadcasting, right. English right. Uh, written mm -hmm. information in English. Mm -hmm. So you now they recognize. So you now they're they're paying not only the expense, but they're giving a lot of information, right. instructions, how to guidelines and okay. things like that. Right. So Hopefully, program hopefully like this will help to that right. end as well. That yeah, you know, apply to the traveler, right. travelers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, as well as the, uh, the people who right. is a worker, right. foreign workers in mm -hmm. Korea. And on that point, I think one of the important points to make to our overseas uh, viewers is that 
the point about the infection, uh, you said most of the cases, almost 100% cases took place through the hospital transmission, but not in community. So uh, un unnecessary fear about transmission mm -hmm. here in Korea yeah. as a visitor yeah. here, mm -hmm. that's not uh, right. a warranted here, right? right? People so, are mm -hmm. carrying out mm -hmm. uh, ordinary daily lives here. And unless you go to hospitals, there is not enough reason for you to be fearful right. about catching yeah, yeah. the disease it, here, I think. Also, the nobody got infected on the airplane. Oh, right. And yeah, there was a lot of newspaper point. articles that airplane is very safe because mm. the air circulation, right. it, it prevents the infection mm. spreading in the airplane. Right, right. And, right, uh, right. Mm -hmm. So the department stores, walking on the streets, subways, don't worry about it. So <laughs> as long as you, you don't go to the hospital, but mm -hmm. you have to find which hospital is uh, where the mm -hmm. patient right. oc occurred or got contact. Mm -hmm. So we call the safety hospital. Right. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it, as long as you stay away mm -hmm. from those mm -hmm. particular hospitals, everything is safe in Korea. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Very important points to keep in mind for our uh, viewers uh, from joining us from overseas here. And uh, now perhaps it's a good time for us to turn to an interview that we have prepared. Uh, the person that we interviewed outside was Professor So jung -wook. He works at the Seoul National Uni University Medical School and he also has the uh, information, Health Information Center that's cooperating with WTO, uh, WHO. So uh, let's take a look at his interview. Uh, the most significant conclusion by expert of the WHO, I understand, is that the current disease outbreak in Korea is not different from MERS in Saudi Arabia. That means we are not uh, having struggling with a very new disease, but we are uh, dealing with the disease we had already experienced. So what they suggest is that lack of evidence of sustained human-to-human uh, transmission in community, WHO does not recommend any further strict regulation for traveling in and traveling out from Korea. That's very good news to our things. The conclusion is for general public and it also overviews the what will be the future of our current of outbreak. But people and health workers in Korea are still in the battlefield against the outbreak of this new disease. We understand if you refer to this graph, we have first case in 11th of May. This graph is showing the onset of disease, not diagnosis of disease. And the secondary outbreak is here. And then we have a peak on 1st of June, and it's definitely decreasing the occurrence of new disease. So we hope this outbreak will finish in the very near future. Uh, there are a different group of people to work on, on these new issues. For example, governmental people should develop uh, the better surveillance system of this kind of new emerging disease. For example, better detection system, better uh, reporting system, and also a uh, measure to control when, when a, a kind of new disease uh, occurs. But also, there are responsibility of researchers and medical professionals to do more research. For example, we don't have enough experience of this kind of disease, but definitely we need to do it. Most of the European country has their colony countries in Africa and those countries, so they, they could develop their own system, surveillance system for those countries, uh, for, uh, for disease uh, expected in those diseases. We didn't have that. But now we know that we Koreans are ev anywhere in the world, so we can expect any kind of new disease in different areas in the world. So we should prepare ourselves to, to do our research. Okay, let's move on with our discussion here, uh, since we saw the uh, interview here. Uh, overall, uh, looking back, Dr. Kim, yeah. the uh, overall problems of the system, you know, mm. like in the Korean media, we've been talking a lot about mm. how system might have broken down, mm. at least uh, in the eyes of Korean public, right? Mm. There have been much uh, complaint by the public about the system breakdown here, the, the you know, overall government system not working and all that. Mm. What is your observation about it? I, some people feel that Korean media have been overly critical about Korean mm. system mm -hmm. here. But what is your overall observation about what failed and what worked okay and whatever? Yeah, well, one uh, the uh, interesting part was that mm -hmm. some small uh, the hospitals refused to 
the you know accept the patients mm -hmm. actually they right want, they don't want to um uh, treat they don't want to diagnose uh, people whether they have a birth or not if mm -hmm. Uh, that makes the uh, notorious effect mm. The people does, doesn't want to visit uh, their hospital. I That's see. a real problem. Do you so think government should have required all the hospitals to accept anyone at any case? Uh, not all. I think they, I don't think all hospitals should have those space. But government should have a special, a certain numbers of the special uh, space or hospitals ah, or right. centers. Mm -hmm. In that way, they can uh, separate are uh, the patients only, then other uh, clean area, clean mm. hospitals can be uh, left okay. for other people. So that is the uh, really important, oh, I, see. I think. Well, as I said, there are three golden time that we missed. Mm -hmm. At the very first, mm -hmm. the MERS was uh, already known to the oh, international oh. community. Uh -huh. Something so to watch out To the for. CNN mm -hmm. <clears throat> and many international news to talk about the MERS. Mm -hmm. There was an outbreak, mm -hmm. there were like 20, 50 deaths mm -hmm. in the Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. early this year, so we have to pay more attention to it. Actually, there was a conference mm -hmm. talking about this MERS, but people didn't mm -hmm. think much about it. But oh, uh, the see. first the mistake was that this patient number one yeah. mm -hmm. in, entered the country without any problem. Mm -hmm. uh, so number two was mm -hmm. uh, at the Pyeongtaek Songwo Hospital right. with the first outbreak. Mm -hmm. So when he was diagnosed, Samsung is very proud mm -hmm. that they made the first diagnosis of MERS in mm -hmm. Korea. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, this patient was treated well. He got, but they missed one thing, that he went through this hospital. Uh, so if they made the diagnosis, they should go back mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. look at all the people who were admitted in the same hospital at the same time. Right. So everybody missed that second chance, a third chance, it was some emergency room. Mm -hmm. As you said, the, the contact definition was contact was so restricted, so I limited see. to small numbers. So mm -hmm. they missed all the people around it. So now we, this mm -hmm. outbreak mm -hmm. is, you know, we, it's like uh, all the problems of Korean mm. healthcare mm. system, all the problems, it just all of a sudden exploded, surfaced out of water. Mm. It's just not one problem. Right. Uh, the, in, in the, during the last 60 years or so, the Korea had developed so rapidly mm. to, this, uh, to the developed country. Right. Mm. The medicine also developed to the top, almost top world class. We have tough facility hospitals, tough mm -hmm. state-of-the-art exactly. equipment, all the doctors now exactly. they're writing so many articles everywhere. So, but the basic, we, we're missing the very basic things. Mm -hmm. The healthcare delivery system is mm -hmm. having a lot of problems. All the doctors knew it, but all is because of the budget. I see. Uh, mm -hmm. The health insurance system, Korean health insurance system is probably one of the best mm -hmm. in the world. I think so too, right? Many people, people come to Korea right. and just admire what a good Pro program Absolutely. you have is so mm -hmm. cheap. Right. Access, access to the hospital is so easy. Everybody can go to the hospital, get treated mm -hmm. so quickly whenever they want it. Mm -hmm. uh, but there was just all the problems could just kind of sink, sink right. underneath mm -hmm. it. Okay, now we're connecting with leading epidemiologist in the United States. He is Professor Amish Adalza, working at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. Professor Adalza, thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. Okay, first question. About the uh, you know, initial response, in Korea we've been talking a lot about, about what needs, should have been done here and what was not done here. What's your overview about the best initial response in cases like this? The best way to prepare for these types of infections is to actually be aware of them and expect that these infections may appear in your country. The biggest problem with South Korea is outbreak was that they weren't expecting MERS. And MERS has been in now 26 different countries. So all countries need to be aware of the risk of travelers coming from the Middle East and be prepared to identify them, isolate them, and take the appropriate measures. And the next question would be your advice to the general public or government, or perhaps in dealing with the general public. What can you say about those several points to keep in mind? The general public needs to read about MERS, understand what its risks are, and if, they're in the, if they happen to be in a healthcare facility, take the appropriate precautions so they're not exposed to MERS until this outbreak is under control. However, this isn't a cause for widespread panic. South Korea will survive this MERS outbreak. MERS has been in multiple different countries. And like I said, it has an inability to spread very well in the community. So I don't believe that generalized panic is warranted. 
Thank you, Professor Amesh Adalza, uh, belonging to the Pittsburgh, University of Pittsburgh Medical School. He's also a senior associate at the UPMC Center for Health Security. Now, yeah. uh, let's uh, move on to more sensitive question. Maybe I'd like to ask this question to lawmaker Bagin Suk here. Uh, the above, the disclosure of the patient information, that has been a very sensitive issue here in Korea. Uh, how should this be done uh, or managed better next time? There have been a yeah. lot of discussion here. Yeah, it's very, as you said, very sensitive mm -hmm. uh, issues. Mm -hmm. It's almost explosive issue. Right, They're right, talking right. about personal uh, information mm -hmm. uh, disclosures. So, uh, let me, okay. uh, in this kind of uh, mm -hmm. uh, outbreak, mm -hmm. epidemic outbreak, right. uh, I kind of arranged this. Mm -hmm. Now we're talking about the patient, individual patient information mm -hmm. and the disclosing of individual patient or disclosing clinic or hospital information. We have to decide which one or both and also at right. the same time we have to give a guidelines so this is what the government has to do. Mm -hmm. ha government has to decide right. what to do, what to disclose. About those two categories of information, right? right? So undisclosed or open only right. to the medical community? Right, the number is something mm -hmm. that should not be disclosed, Three choices, right. yeah, open mm -hmm. only to the medical community mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. open to the entire general community. Mm -hmm. I think when the break like this MERS at this time, mm -hmm. the hospital name and address should be completely open to the public. Okay, unlike what they happened are doing in Korea initially. Right. They right. did not do it, but they should should have done it from the Quickly. very beginning. Right, right. right. Okay. Patient information should not be disclosed, but, but it should be disclosed to the medical community. I see. If mm -hmm. the patient comes in, mm -hmm. he is not telling he came from Samsung Hospital or other hospital where the infection occurred. Mm -hmm. They're not going to say it because if mm -hmm. they say it, they will be refused. I They'll see. be kicked out of the hospital. So mm -hmm. this uh, uh, medical information, this information should be only given only to the medical community for the sake of the patients, medical personnel, mm -hmm. and rest of the people. Uh, let's talk about another very uh, potentially I don't know, should I call it interesting or sensitive here? The culture here in Korea, overall yeah. culture of hospital and uh, what people do. Mm. Some have argued that culture of taking care of patients here in Korea mm. might have uh, exacerbated over a situation here. Mm. Dr. Kim, is there something we can do to perhaps change or is it possible? Well, yeah. First of all, I think, uh, could you explain <laughs> that, that what we are a, talking about? Because right, our viewers yeah, from right. overseas may not know what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, why don't you describe what we are talking about here? I think that is uh, uh, totally dependent on the cost. Mm -hmm. So how much the medical uh, payment uh, should should be, you know, the paid. Right. Uh, I mean, is, uh, maybe I right, can that's, that's maybe that's increase true. the medical cost. Uh, I see your point. I see your point. Right. I see your point. Right. But uh, for our viewers, uh, let me explain a little bit further here. Mm -hmm. uh, the uh, Korean media and overseas media have pointed mm -hmm. out the Korean practice of uh, patients, family members, mm -hmm. relatives, mm -hmm. and even friends coming in to uh, show their respect and love, express their love to the patient, mm -hmm. and that has overcrowded, uh, overcrowded hospitals. Yeah, and yeah. they said, uh, the critics have argued that it has increased the possibility of getting infected here. Mm -hmm. So we gotta really change that. And Dr. Kim, what you're talking about was also uh, keeping several patients in one single room, <laughs> and that's the cost issue overall right. here. Mm -hmm. uh, lawmaker Pakistan, so what would you I'll say about you changing this? I'll give you nine reasons. Nine reasons. reasons. We may not have Korea, time for them. Korean sentiment. Okay. That Let's explains be short. why this uh, sense, Samsung emergency room has such an explosion of this many hospitals from uh, the single center. Right, right. This doctor shopping, everybody. Doctor shopping, shopping is a problem. They go to so right. this hospital, as mm -hmm. you say, these yeah. patients now, mm -hmm. out of 73, they going through like three or four, five different hospitals before <laughs> they got finally caught. Right. So the doctor shopping everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's because the cost is similar. That's true. Unlike to the advanced country, unlike the United States right. and European countries where mm -hmm. the cost is very, very different. Mm -hmm. So no matter where you go, Don't you say that's cost because Korean system, system is advanced? Because it's, it, <laughs> it makes the cost, uh, you know, cost. Uh, un, not very burdensome for patients. Yeah, so well, that's I'm why every, right. all the patients, all the hospitals are so crowded. Right, so the right. cost is not different. Okay. And three mm. is it's so easy access to 
to the clinic. Easy yeah, access sure. to the medical facility. Anyone can walk in, right? Right, right, right. yeah, right. anytime. As a visitor, day or night. Day or night. Right, right. And the, the, That's a problem. the insurance paying, mm -hmm. the cost of uh, the medical care is very cheap. Insurance, right. Compared yeah. to the rest yes, of yeah. other yeah. costs in living yeah. in, co in Korea. Right, right. And the pe Korean people wants to stay in the hospital for a longer time, much longer than the United States. Is that the or, case? Right. Is that because of the cost? Because yeah, we have the, lower costs? very cost cheap. Or Okay. It's very cheap to stay in the hospital. Mm, the okay. hospital cost is very high on the first day or second day, mm. but third day, it's just a paying. The room is paid by the insurance, so okay. they wants to stay longer. Mm -hmm. And uh, everybody visit the, all the friends, relatives, when they're in mm -hmm. the hospital. Right. It's a very d bad thing if right. you don't mm -hmm. visit. So mm -hmm. and they ex expecting mm -hmm. people, friends, mm -hmm. come so and visit. Mm -hmm. They even mm -hmm. bring their children. Right, right. And the nursing fee is very small. Mm. from the insurance, so mm -hmm. not enough nurses, so mm -hmm. they have caretakers, they hire caretakers, you right. call mm -hmm. mm -hmm. or right. the family members stay there, so it is co overcrowded. Mm -hmm. Eight, mm -hmm. the emergency <laughs> room is not taking care of only emergency, but they take care of all the patients waiting for the rooms. Ah, waiting right. for the that's rooms. Right. So that's it's right. like a waiting right. room mm -hmm. for the rooms. So number eight, that's number nine, mm -hmm. the government foster multi room, the many beds in one room because mm. the government don't mm. want to, government don't pay for the one single room. They're trying to save the So it's very of expensive the for the patient to pay for one or two bed right. rooms. Right, so right. they prefer to go to a six bed, six mm. bed or four bed. Sure. And the Korean and National the Insur Health Insurance paying for those, but not paying for the one or two rooms. Right, so right. all the rooms are crowded. So that is so good mm. soil for the mm. infection. Mm. So national so insurance I gave you nine system, reasons. <laughs> there was a long one. And the national insurance itself, mm. you're saying, is biased towards uh, uh, longer stay and uh, bigger rooms. And mm. overall, it's a uh, patient friendly in terms of cost. That's why there are a lot of patients here. Uh, so it looks like all this uh, positive side of Korean mm. medical system mm. might have caused all this trouble that exactly. we're experiencing yeah, exactly. this time. Uh, I have to get back to lawmaker Parkinson once again about this because uh, this is a lawmaking issue possibly. Uh, some people uh, have argued that in the future, Korean government should make some of the regulations into law requiring uh, the hospitals what to do about like a visitor control, uh, the control of access, all that kind of stuff. As a lawmaker, what do you see? Do you think making this into a requirement, uh, legally required requirements possible? Do you, do you see that happening in the future as at, a result of at, this? At the moment, many hospitals has their own rules and regulations mm -hmm. saying exactly what should be done, okay. but has not been kept by people because people protest. Ah. They don't like the and they, they just the complains. Right. We want to go. Mm -hmm. We want to all go in there praying and you know, even have a, right. the, this uh, rituals. Mm -hmm. religion so, rituals. Is this, so is this something yeah. that lawmakers should come in and make into laws? Yeah, well, I think we should reinforce, giving more power to the hospital where they can really reinforce mm -hmm. people not to do those things. Okay, okay, interesting. And also the rooms. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. We have to make more one or two mm -hmm. single rooms right. so, and have the insurance to pay it. Right. But judging from your list of nine items, I'm sure we have a lot of work to do ahead mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And maybe uh, while our discussion is getting even more interesting here, maybe it's a good time for us to go to a, another interview that we have done outside. This is an interview with Ms. Allison Alley. She's a researcher at the J.W. Lee Center for Global Medicine at the Seoul National University. Let's take a look. While there's a lot that we don't know about MERS, but what we do know is that MERS is a viral respiratory tract infection that is thought to be spread through respiratory secretions, such as droplets from coughing. We also know that MERS is a new virus. The first cases were diagnosed in humans in 2012, which means that probably most of the population does not have acquired immunity to the virus. Lastly, we know that the virus in Korea is not thought to be more contagious than the virus found in other countries. This was confirmed through genome sequencing of the virus. These are some of the factors that are influencing the spread of the disease. I think that clear communication is very important for helping to control MERS and also helping to reduce unnecessary public panic. I myself have had a very positive experience in Korea with this regard. For example, there's a lot of reliable information online, including the website that was set up by the MERS task force in Korea, and also the website of the World Health Organization. 
Additionally, I'm an American citizen, so I have been receiving email updates from the U.S. Embassy. Those updates um, summarize the information released by the Korean Ministry of Health and Welfare. And lastly, I've received text messages from my doctor's office to update me about new hospital policies that have been put into place to protect patients against MERS. I think that having multiple levels of communication is very important, so the use of text message, email, and then also reliable information that I can go access. I think that all of those are very important and effective. Question of lack of expertise and lack of experts about this case, uh, Lomika Parkinson, what would you say about that? that do we well, really lack the expertise? I, I don't like expert. What mm -hmm. do you mean by expert? Mm -hmm. you, as I said, nobody in Korean Korea, any, no, no doctor mm -hmm. had experience with Mars. Mm -hmm. So there's no expert, if you think that way. Right, right. But mm -hmm. in that regard. But uh, let me say, uh, going back to the same question, right. there was a WHO had a campaign mm -hmm. to the SARS, H1N1, and Mars. Mm -hmm. And the second thing I need to mention is uh, last mm -hmm. year in mm -hmm. White House, in the United States, mm -hmm. there was a global health security agenda. I see. First conference uh -huh. was held at the White House of the United States mm -hmm. and Korean Minister of mm -hmm. uh, uh, Foreign Affairs. Foreign Affairs? Foreign Affairs. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Along with uh, some, I don't know exactly, I need a list of who mm. participated, along mm. with uh, some of the Minister of Health ah, attended that. I see. And interesting thing is in this year, October, I guess, mm -hmm. we, we rec brought this mm -hmm. conference with right. the second uh, chairperson of this uh, conference mm -hmm. will be held in Korea. Interesting this year, here. this year autumn, wow. global health security agenda talking okay. about MERS and SARS and etc. What a proper uh, timing. Yeah, I know <laughs> it is. And right. uh, the third thing is mm -hmm. the, the Minister of Health had the MERS uh, related mm -hmm. conference mm -hmm. some time before. Okay. But as I said, we may or may not have expert, but you have to think about mm -hmm. all the time right. to have a practice. I see, mm -hmm. I see. To exercise. Right, mm -hmm. right. Interesting. Uh, what about overall, you know, Dr. Kim, I want to ask you the same question about the uh, lack of expertise and lack mm. of experts overall. What's your observation here? Uh, that seems to be the overall consensus, but is that the case? Do we have uh, absolute lack of experts? Yeah, I think so. Mm. The, you know, this, uh, especially for the virus. Mm -hmm. So the first finding was uh, 2012. So the only three years uh, history we have. Mm -hmm. So during that time, we cannot uh, make, uh, you know, the prepare the any uh, the environment mm -hmm. uh, with many uh, experts. So mm -hmm. it should take a little bit longer time mm -hmm. uh, to uh, recruit some experts in Korea. So for that, um, uh, we should have some collaboration or mm -hmm. cooperation with the uh, other. Uh, foreign countries international with international organizations, mm -hmm. including WHO or other uh, the uh, good, um, the medical organizations. Mm -hmm. That is the uh, first way I think. So, and the uh, for that as uh, the the lawmaker Park said, mm -hmm. uh, we need to uh, participate in uh, the international the conference right. uh, related to this. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, issues. Right. So enough so is going on yeah. outside internationally, and we have enough uh, expertise. But right. what we need is for more right. uh, stronger activism here. Right. 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 Uh, Lomika Parkinson, you have prepared some data about the expertise and experts uh, about this point. Yeah. Don't you? Uh, this, I'll Don't make you sure? a little joke. Now, <laughs> all the Koreans will be expert immerse. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's listening, reading, and watching all day long, day and night. Including myself yeah. here, <laughs> right, right. Is there they data that you wanted to share right, yeah. with our viewers? Uh, this is something I'd like to emphasize. Mm -hmm. As you said, that it, do we have expert or not? The, the problem is we need a big organization mm -hmm. like CDC, NIH. We talk many many times during this uh, during this uh, uh, session. Right. The Center for Disease Control, the mm -hmm. United States, is in, in Atlanta at mm -hmm. National Institute of Health in Bethesda, oh, Maryland. States, right. Two different huge structure mm -hmm. budget. Korean mm. CDC Ooh, okay. together NIH, mm -hmm. Korean NIH is under Korean CDC. It's a small. Uh, the look the at size it. of population. Times okay. Budget okay. wise, hundred ah, times. Even though they're together. right, right. If we have different populations, but still the yeah. big the difference is huge. Human okay. resource, mm -hmm. hundred times more people in there. 
I like see. Korea, the what's the population of Korea? Mm -hmm. America well, has like five, five times right, right. higher. Right, right. But hundred times, that's too big. Hundred times, right. right. Uh, Nobel Prize winner, 130 out of this, uh, mm. uh, uh, this organization. Right, right. Here we are connecting with Professor Trish Pearl. She is a professor of medicine at uh, Johns Hopkins University Medical School in the United States, and she is the one who uh, undertook research on MERS virus in Saudi Arabia when they had outbreak year 2013. Professor Pearl, thank you very much for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. First question. Uh, you know, the, the question that we, all of us uh, here in Korea, many of us at least, had in our minds, that is, why is that, that Korea didn't have much knowledge or pre-existing knowledge about the MERS when they actually had a break, uh, outbreak in Saudi Arabia and elsewhere in the Middle East uh, several years ago? How should we explain it to ourselves here? Uh, what can we say? Uh, I think it's probably what we call multifactorial, that there are many reasons that there is not information coming out. One is that um, it takes a while to collect information. Um, it's also compounded by the fact that there wasn't as much information that we knew about the virus from the outbreaks in the Arabian Peninsula. Um, and, uh, but I certainly would be the first to tell you that, that having international experts in a crisis like this can really enhance the response, uh, especially if you're trying to get information very quickly and you need what we say boots on the ground as well as, you know, sort of a, a lot of breadth of experience, which is what is needed in such a situation. Then next, a big question would be, what would be some of the key points for the Korean public in general, or perhaps um, a point, a message points that Korea should try to convey to the world? What are some of those important points that needs to be shared here at home as well as overseas? Yeah, so that, that's clearly a very loaded question. And I think Korea has done a very, um, has had a really robust response to this. Um, and we still don't know how good that response is, is because we're really at the juncture of, of measuring the impact. You know, but that being said, I think that they've been very aggressive about isolation, identification of potential patients that are infected, um, isolation within hospitals. And the big message, I think, for the international community as well as for Korea is that these emerging f infections are clearly now going to become a global issue, which means that we must enhance our surveillance strategies so that we identify them before they end up in settings like healthcare where they clearly can be spread very rapidly. Thank you, Prof Professor Trish Pearl of Johns Hopkins Medical School. Now, as the final wrap-up of our discussion here mm -hmm. to doctors, uh, what do we have to do in the future here in Korea? This will be final wrap-up, as mm -hmm. I said. So mm -hmm. your final words about what we have learned and what we should do and how we should be better prepared for the future. Maybe starting with, with uh, Dr. Kim. I would. The uh, recommend like uh, uh, from the administ administrative mm -hmm. things will be uh, done by the government, mm -hmm. but the uh, private company or the also the government should support the new uh, the uh, setup of the new system, mm -hmm. the innovative technology. Yeah, the innovative system. Mm -hmm. The uh, we need a very rapid, mm -hmm. accurate diagnostic system right. and very rapid communication system, uh, especially in the airport, in mm -hmm. the port, or in the hospital, at least, or the, the government uh, the uh, directed uh, branches. Uh, so I would uh, strongly recommend in that way. That mm -hmm. is called, mm -hmm. in the future, we have uh, facing the, um, the new healthcare, uh, smart healthcare, uh, the, the error. So the, if we have the, uh, any detection from the, uh, the airport, mm -hmm. that should be connected to um, uh, the Korean CDC, right. the control tower. Mm -hmm. Then uh, can be connected to the hospital or medical doctor. Mm -hmm. Then prescription or any treatment will be sent back. I see. How uh, 
the potential patient mm -hmm. uh, the, the, uh, uh, be treated. Right. So also, the, we need uh, some other uh, things, emergency, the ambulance system. So the if, vehicle? Yeah, the vehicle. Cars? Oh, okay. yeah, we right. need uh, to develop the uh, mobile hospital using uh, emer emer the ambulance. I see. So if we have the very fast mm -hmm. rapid system in the <clears throat> ambulance, mm -hmm. so we can send it ambulance to um, uh, segregate or to treat any patient mm -hmm. separately. So mm -hmm. in that way, we can uh, protect other <coughs> people too. Okay. So uh, mm -hmm. that kind of system uh, should be installed in the airport or in the port. It makes a lot uh, of sense. So that's a great idea. And also, if anything, you know, technology and setting up the system, that's something that Koreans right. can do really well. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's one uh, reassuring point, And looks like it's an implementation that we can undertake. Uh, lawmaker Park Insook, please be short. <laughs> Let's uh, have a wrap up about overall discussion. What are the, some of the key lessons? What needs to be done? And what mm -hmm. we, should we keep in mind? We need to restructure the mm -hmm. whole healthcare delivery system okay. to prevent this outbreak. Mm -hmm. Second Second is the well, I'd like to ask people Korea to be cooperation mm -hmm. to have you know, asking for the cooperation in this kind of outbreak mm -hmm. and we need to build the, the infectious disease special hospitals mm -hmm. the local regional hospitals we need to uh, bring more epidemiologists, competent right. epidemiologists. Mm -hmm. And finally, we have to do the co collaboration, cooperations mm -hmm. with the international community. Mm -hmm. And the last thing is the research. Mm -hmm. We have to spend more right. time and money and people to the research mm -hmm. so we can make some vaccines or new mm -hmm. treatment drugs mm -hmm. and things like that. Looks like we have a clear list of actions for the mm -hmm. future, so that's mm -hmm. all the more reassuring. And so with that, we will have to wrap up our discussion here. I want to thank you big, big time, Dr. Spak in -Sug and Kim sung -Woo for uh, joining us and offering your valuable views and insights today. Thank you very much. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you very much. And we want to thank our viewers who have joined from overseas for our discussion today. And we hope that you are reminded by now that Korea is doing our very best in order to stop this epidemic as quickly as possible. And we hope that this special program of Arigang TV has given you enough ideas about what we are thinking about and what we, how we are acting. So uh, that's our hope. And with that, this has been Kim Byung-ju. Goodbye.